Apple has always been a leading brand in smart gadget industry and we can say the same for its Apple Watch series. This product right here is the Apple Watch series 3 and the variant which we have is 42mm. We are going to give our honest opinion regarding this watch so without wasting any time let's get started. Let me give a quick overview. We get microphone and speaker on left, on right we get a digital crown and power on off buttons and I am disappointed with its back. It is a composite build but the series 2 comes with ceramic material and chances of getting scratches are much lesser and I believe this composite material is a downgrade from its previous series. The display here is an OLED panel which reaches 1000 nits of brightness which means you will not face any problem in direct sunlight and outdoor. But the one feature which it's missing is the always on display which means you have to turn your wrist to activate the gyroscope and turn on the display. But that's a pretty common gesture we use day to day to see time on analog watches too. But in cases like this where you are typing something or working on your PC you cannot just take a sneak peek to see what time it is. Well I'm not complaining because it doesn't really matter that much for me and it also looks pretty weird to see a man walking with a glowing wrist on the road. I am okay with my watch not having a always on display. Well, it's a personal opinion and it varies. Moving to the battery. The most important part of a smartwatch is its battery life. It is powered by 279mAh battery which gives 40 to 45 hours of battery backup on a single charge. And believe me, it's pretty amazing considering it's a smartwatch and you cannot expect a battery life of 10 days or so because it is not a fitness band, it is a smartwatch. The charger we get here is wireless magnetic charger and it charges the watch in 70 to 80 minutes. And one interesting thing here is that it can also work as a bedside alarm clock. It is running on watch OS 6 which includes app store in it which means you can now download apps directly to your watch and you can swipe in from edge of the screen to switch between various watch faces. It has built in Wi-Fi and GPS in it and the GPS here is pretty accurate. It's also inbuilt Siri and it responses quite well. The performance here is fluid and there is no lags that I found on day to day tasks. This smartwatch right here is featured pack. It has workout mode and this also has a heart rate sensor which I would say is pretty accurate. And it also monitors the heart continuously and stores hourly based stats. The highlight here is that if you are a person with heart issues and if anything happens it would send alert to the registered phone. And I believe that all the fitness trackers must also have this feature. It is water resistant and can be kept under water for 30 minutes to a depth of 50 meter. And what Apple has done here is the feature which will throw the water out of the tiny gaps where water might have entered when you rotate the digital crown. Moving to the conclusion. At first I believed that these Apple watches are very expensive for a smartwatch. But after using it my thoughts changed. We got this for just 18k and at that price tag it is serving its purpose and it comes with some cool features worth noticing. So what are my opinions? If you are a fan of smartwatches and your budget is around 20k, I would definitely recommend this smartwatch to you. So that's the end of the video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and share it with your family and friends and subscribe our channel, we review tech.